Hey everybody, Susan Mershon here, The Techie Mentor. Just a big thank you for listening to this podcast, the Virtual Assistant Tips, Tricks, and Advice channel where I share all things Virtual Assistant every week with no fluff, just the stuff that gets results. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode. Today I want to talk to you about list building and specifically I'm going to give you some quick tips to help grow your list of fans and potential new clients. So first off, list building is just a way to generate a list of potential clients as well as existing clients who are interested in you and your business. And A lot of virtual assistants, actually a lot of online businesses, don't spend enough time generating leads and building a quality list. So list building is where you create a list, as I said, of prospects, even your own clients, um, that you will build a relationship with over time using email. So this is an email list. And it's really crucial um, that this is part of your overall business strategy because what's going to happen is, is when you need a new client, for instance, instead of going out into social media land and trying to land a cold client who really doesn't know anything about you, if you have a list, you have people who know, like, and trust you who are ready to buy from you. And you can actually have people on a waiting list ready to work with you when you have the time available. So list building is important for long-term future income, the life and overall health of your business. And then again, building those relationships getting people to know, like, and trust you so they are going to buy from you. So here are some really simple tips. First of all, offer a what's called a free offer or a lead magnet. And this can be something fairly simple. It could be a checklist, a template, um, an ebook. It doesn't have to be anything really robust. It can be short, sweet, and to the point. And what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to solve one problem that your audience has because you don't want to give them too much. You want to give them one thing that shows those people that you know how to help them. And this goes a long way in starting that relationship. You're, they're trusting you because you've helped them solve a common problem. And you have to realize that, you know, when it comes to building a lead magnet, you want to look at kind of the FAQs. What are the most common questions people ask about the service that you offer? You know, how to build a, Word, a WordPress website or, you know, how to write great copy, whatever it might be, how to organize your inbox. Um, but lead magnets focus on one problem, one solution. And you can use a simple tool like Aweber or MailChimp to build your list. And in your lead magnet, you want to have that call to action, which is a for instance, your discovery session. So you could have a link for them to automatically sign up to chat with you about your services. So your lead magnet should have next steps, which is called a call to action. And then once they get on your list, you could continue to have a conversation with them. So here's what you want to do. Once you create your free offer is you want to drive traffic to the free offer because that's going to start that no like and trust factor. It's going to also show them you know what you're doing. You understand their problems and how to solve them. Other ways that you can build your list is you can hold a free webinar. Now, number one, always recommend you have a lead magnet. Okay, number two is you could have a webinar that is all about your lead magnet and that could be your call to action. You could teach them something. You could show them how to do something. You could explain an in-depth topic. You don't have to have a 60-minute webinar. You could have a 30 or even a 15-minute webinar as long as people get results. So remember, you always want to have a call to action in anything that you do. What's the next step you want them to take? And for most of us service-based businesses, we want them to sign up for a free discovery session. You could also blog. So if you like to write, blogging is a great way for you to get noticed. It's a great way to build your list as well. And your blog topics are always focused on what you're selling. Right, so if you're not selling, you know, how to groom your poodle, then that's not something you blog about on a business site. It's all about the services that you offer. So it's the same idea as it was for webinars. Show them how to do something, explain an in-depth topic, do a how-to, break it into multiple pieces, and then drive them to your lead magnet or drive them to your discovery session. Same thing with social media. 
join LinkedIn and Facebook groups where your dream clients are, not a group full of virtual assistants. Okay, that's not marketing. But if you want to get in front of your audience, you need to be where they are, which is why LinkedIn and Facebook is a great thing to do. So you can share your lead magnet, your webinars, your blogs. You can actually show people you know what you're talking about. Start a conversation, share your expertise. Remember, you want to help, not sell. So stop selling, start helping. Zig Ziglar, a great quote. That's what marketing is all about. You could also speak. Um, if you have a local networking event, your chamber of converts, you could volunteer to speak at one of their events. That is really going to get you noticed and give you instant credibility. And then there are also virtual events, whether they're live or they are um, recorded. These are a great way for you to get noticed, get involved. You can ask questions. You can share your knowledge. There are a lot of different um, places that you can get noticed. Now, I know that a lot of VA um, associations have those speaking gigs, but most of those people that come are VAs. So unless you're targeting VAs, you should really look for events that are going to be targeted by your audience, business coaches or whoever it might be. But you should be marketing your business every day, helping, not selling. 15 minutes a day, get out there and start asking questions, uh, responding to questions, sharing your, your lead magnet with others because your lead magnet is really that first step in your virtual assistant sales funnel. So this just gives you some ideas on list building. The best thing you can do for yourself is create a simple lead magnet. Uh, and that's really going to get the ball rolling for you when it comes to growing a list of people who know, like, and trust you and who will buy from you because they know you can help them. So thanks for listening, and I'll see you guys next week.